hi guys uh, welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to see how we can find out the missing port in arduino right that's what we are going to learn today so if you go to tools option and then you can notice that even if the arduino is connected with it the port is not showing there right for that issue we can uh, solve that by using the following method right for that what we have to do is we have to just uh, go to google right and uh, google we can type ch340 driver right if you type like uh, this driver so then it will appear like this the first one sparks.gogo like that right so we have to click that one if we click that one so then it will uh, direct you to this website right under this website according to your uh, uh, operating system if you are using windows we have to click this one if you are using macintosh we have to click uh, the version you like it right so currently i'm using windows so that i'm going to click this driver in order to download that one so it will ask me to download i'm going to download this on the desktop now it has been downloaded it's a very small uh, uh, within one mb file so i can uh, double click that one and then i can double click the installation file and click run right so then it will extract after the extraction is done so then it will ask me to down ask me to install this particular file right so i'm going to install this file right so when you are installing this uh, driver make sure that the, your arduino is connected with your laptop or maybe your pc right so then you can click ok so then you can close this window and now you can uh, obtain the you can just uh, remove the cable and connect it with the arduino so then if you go to the drivers option if you go to the tools option and then you can notice that the com port is available now so that is how we install the driver if you don't find the ports option in the arduino tools right tools so hope you understand about uh, this one so after that you will uh, see the port is showing for you so then now you can upload the codes right so as an example i'm going to click uh, basic example right so this this is a basic example now we have to go to arduino i'm currently using an arduino mega so i'm going to click this one right so then after i'm going to go to the select the processor and come so now i can run the code after it has compiled i can upload the code to my arduino so then it will work accordingly so if you like this video click please click the thumbs up button if you are new to my channel you can subscribe and if you want to make your friends also get the benefit from the video please share this one so thank you for watching guys just you can click upload so now you can notice that it's uploading and it has been uploaded correctly so thank you for watching enjoy